the way I'm saying. He ordered two trees to come to him to cover his butt when he do poo poo. Is that hadith is it true or it's a lie? Your mind. Now don't say to me I don't know. Is that fair, guys? From now we have to agree not to say to me I don't know. Either you say you know or you say you don't know. Your mind. This is the hadith in front of you. Two trees walking to the prophet so he can take off his panties. Explain to me this miracle. You're mine. So why you are afraid that, afraid that I talk? You are afraid. Why you use your power to defeat me? Use your arguments to, to defeat me. Prove to the audience that I'm wrong. Wrong in what? If you say to me, I don't know. You idiot. You idiot. Wrong in what? <laughs> when you say I don't know, I cannot prove you wrong or right. You know, you have to say something. Now, I'm giving you a chance. You're a prophet to take off his panties. He ordered priests to walk around him so he can take off his panties and they cover his butt. Two trees walking from more than 100 yards, far away from the prophet. Is this a story true or it's false? You're mine. You give me a chance. You should have a chance to prove that you are right by defeating me, not by redoting me, okay? So, uh, first I want to... Conditions of our dialogue. Equitable dialogue with no red dots, okay? With no red dots and people, they will judge. If I'm wrong, they will they will judge by themselves that I'm wrong. Not I, you, It's not your red dots who, who must judge that I'm ridiculous or I'm an idiot. It's the audience who will judge by themselves that I'm idiot. Uh, if run, I give you a question, I want the answer. Don't waste my time. You see why I bounced you? You're an idiot. You will never answer. You will never say anything. You will speak for 10 hours. At the end, you will say, I don't know. Now, do you know or you don't know? If you know, give us the answer. If you do not know, shut up. You're mine. We must agree first for the preconditions on hoof dialogue. Okay, we will make an agreement. Me and you. The one he break it is an idiot. Is that fair, guys? We will make an agreement. When I give you a question, you give me the answer. You don't give me a speech. The second you stop giving me speech, I will give you a thought. And be honest. If you do not know, say from the beginning, I do not know. So even I can change the question. So if you aren't here to waste my time, be honest with yourself. You say, I don't know. Then we change even the topic. So this is the topic we open. I will give you 60 seconds to answer. The second you start giving me a speech, you start reading the hadith. This is how you answer. Saying to me, okay, the prophet, he ordered two trees to walk to him to cover his panties or he, when he took his, his panties off so nobody can see his ass. This is a story. Is it true? And the proof is the following. This is how you talk. You're mine. Okay, I accept. I accept. Uh, I agree with the conditions of dialogue. At least I will speak 60 seconds. At least. Okay? Then you can read about me later. Take the mic. So now you can ask your question. I'm happy to answer you. No problem. I will not doubt you as long as you are answering the question. Here we go. This is the question. This is the hadith. Your prophet ordering two trees to come to him from far away just to cover himself when he take off his panties to do shit. Why this miracle happened and how come nobody saw it except Muhammad himself? Your mind. Okay, first of all, uh, hadiths uh, that are, they are speeches attributed to the prophets. I don't reject hadiths, but I, I don't believe in it necessary, okay? The, these are uh, narrations, people attributed speeches to the prophet. I should not believe in that necessary. Take the mic. So, are you saying to me you don't know again? Here we go. You see, he didn't answer. He would never answer. I believe in the hadith, but at the same time, I don't believe. What is the answer? This is this is mean. You will do the same for every hadith I give you. So what we will debate about? 
You see why I, I, give, I, I bounce you from the room? You know, you are a game player, you will never answer. And uh, I am, a, I know, like I, I approve hadith, but I don't take the hadith because you know the hadith is not really true, but it's true sometimes, you know. So what, what we will talk about then? Even I showed you from the Quran last time, your God Allah will give the Muslim 300 boys. What you said to me? Those boys, they might be a robot, a machine, a Muslim man. You know, Allah will give him 300 boys. They are a machine. Maybe he said maybe. Maybe they are boys, I don't know. So why you are debating me then? You are a game player. Now, I will give you a different chance. Forget about the hadith. Guys, if you want to save the hadith about Muhammad, trees walking to him to cover his ass. Okay, this is the hadith, you see? We don't, we don't uh, say things without proofs or reference. I will give you something else. Something even, you know, nicer. In this hadith, in here, in front of me, it says, if a Muslim man have sex with a goat, and the goat deliver, listen to this, I'm not the one who's saying that. Okay? It's not me who's saying that. If a Muslim man, he have sex with the goat, and the goat deliver a human, the human will be owned, sorry, the human will be free if his mother is free. His mother is free, the mother is a goat. I don't know what those Muslims are talking about, she's a goat. And the human will be, belong, listen to this, I'm, I'm, I'm going to post to you exactly what they are saying. And actually, there's two cases in there, you know, just to be honest in the, in the cases. There's a case of a human having sex with a goat. And actually, in there it says behemoth, which means it might be a donkey, it might be a camel, it might be any animal. Behemoth is an animal in general. It might be a cat even. So, if a Muslim man, he has sex with an animal, and that animal deliver a human, the human will be owned by the one who owned the animal. Isn't it amazing? Now, this is the story in front of you. Open the link. You explain to me the science of Islam. How an animal having, sorry, a, a Muslim having sex with an animal, and the an animal will deliver a baby, and that baby is a human. And that a human will be owned by the one who owned the goat, or the one who owned the dog, or owned the cat. Your mind. Okay, thank you. I wish you defeat me by arguments, not by red dots, to deserve your victory. Okay? So, to answer to your question, uh, I don't believe to this hadith. This hadith is wrong. Uh, why? Do you wish I tell you why, or I, will, I don't need to tell you why? Take the mic. <laughs> you, you did not read it even. <laughs> you do not know where it exists. You did not even get a chance to open the link. Because you are a hypocrite, you are a liar. And I know you will know you don't believe in it. You don't believe in the Quran even. Do you believe in the Quran? Take them on. Say yes. Go ahead. Me, I'm here to answer exactly your questions. If you ask me yes or no, I will tell you yes. If you ask me why, I will answer you why. For To your question, if I believe in Quran, yes, I believe in Quran. And not all of hadith. Take the mic. Great. So now you believe in the Quran. So you have no way to say, oh, I don't believe in the Quran in the future. Right? And I like that. Now, I want you, 